you can still play today and very much have fun with it and enjoy it. Is NHL 2002 on the Xbox original still fun in 2020? That's what we are going to find out today. Now I have a tons of things that I want to talk about and honestly I am super excited about reviewing this game. I um, wasn't planning on reviewing this game to be honest but recently I set up my Xbox original again and I threw this in there and was having some fun and I said why not talk about this? I haven't talked about this on the channel before. Retro games are awesome and I love hockey games. I'm a Dallas Stars fan, so like everything about this is just awesome. So what I did is I ended up doing a, a screen recording of all the stuff that I realized that was in this that I wanted to talk about. And then I wanted to bring that to you guys. Now I know this is probably new for some of you that just came over to the channel you haven't seen me do any reviews yet now that is because honestly reviews take a little bit longer and so sometimes those get sprinkled in between other videos and so this video is all about nhl 2002 on the xbox original now this came out on the ps2 as well but i'm not talking about that at all I didn't even grab it, I didn't play it at all, I just mainly specifically played the Xbox version. So start off, this is a killer game. Now do I enjoy this game? Obviously, yes, I am a hockey fan, I enjoy video games, it's a retro video game, all of the checkboxes are checked, and so this game falls in line with what I would like and obviously is why I enjoy it. Now when I talk about it as a hockey game, I think it is a really good game. Is it still fun to play in 2020? Yes. Is it still worth picking up? Yes, because the price is relatively dirt cheap and you can have so much fun. Now, NHL 2002, I'm going to probably say that wrong, just bear with me. NHL 2002 is an awesome arcade game feeling of NHL hockey game basically. It takes some awesome stuff and turns it into an awesome game that you can still play today and very much have fun with it and enjoy it. Now it's got a few different modes. It's got a play now mode, it's got a season mode, playoff, tournament, and shootout. Now the first thing I want to specify is that if you just want to get in and play, play now is obviously the game you're going to do. You're going to select it. It's going to take you into the game. You're going to be able to do what you want, whether it's um, pick what team you want to play, pick uh, what jersey they're wearing, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, change the lineup and all that stuff is cool there. Now if you move on to the other game modes, you got season mode, which is pretty cool. It's almost like if you were to play a NHL or any sports game now where they have like the franchise mode or like be a GM mode or something like that where you control the entire team. You can do trades here and all that cool stuff. You can um, simulate games, you can skip them and all that and it's just a lot of fun. You can do trades which I think is cool um, and obviously you're using the roster from 2002. So. For me, that is a uh, nostalgia era of Dallas Stars hockey. They won the cup in 2000, 2001. So this is the year after, and so this just makes everything uh, just uh, nostalgic for me. Now, when I get down to it, the tournament and the playoffs are pretty similar. You think of like playoffs as you play to win the Stanley Cup. That's about how the two go. And then at the end, you've got shootout mode. Now, shootout mode is obvious if you know what shootout is in a hockey, but if you don't, it is essentially the player versus the goalie and you go down and try to shoot and score. Now for me, I don't know what it was about this game, but shootout mode was hard for me and I don't know why. I feel like when I tried to do the goalie, it just didn't work out for me um, and the angle for the um, player wasn't all that great either. So I just wanna specify, I think that that's probably the weakest part of this game is that shootout mode now moving forward the playlist or the soundtrack of this game is absolutely amazing i plugged it in played it and i just had so much fun listening to all that cool stuff and uh all the songs are awesome reminiscent of kind of the 2000 era so it's just something i love so if i think of games with great soundtracks i think of like tony hawk's pro skater i think of burnout and i think this game falls within those guidelines of great 
soundtracks. If you like those soundtracks, you're probably going to like this one in NHL 2002. So now moving forward, we've got the soundtrack out of the way. Let's talk about how this game actually plays when you get into the game. Now first, obviously, like I said, you pick your team, you pick your jerseys, you pick the play style and all that. And once you do that, it takes you to a loading screen, which is totally awesome, which shows you what the arena looked like that you would be playing in. I think this was really cool, and I loved when old NHL games did this, um, because I think of, like, I remember when that team played there and that team played there. It's just a cool thing. Also, in the loading screen, you are met with this kind of hot streak or cold streak. It tells you how your players are doing and also tells you, like, what they are so if you've got a shooter or someone who is fast or something like that it'll tell you that in the um, loading screen right before you get into the game now whenever that loading screen is done you are thrown straight into some awesome graphics of how this game is kind of being set up you see players with their gear on you see them going out on the ice you see them circling the ice you see them kind of doing their warm-ups you see the crowd going wild, you see the goalies getting shot at, fireworks going off, all this kind of cool stuff they think makes this game a little bit better than it would have been if it was just gameplay. Now, the awesome thing about these uh, special animations and all that in between the gameplay is it brings life to what is actually happening. So if you start the game, you get the face off, you win the face off, you skate down, you uh, do some passes, it goes back and forth. Then essentially what happens is someone is going to score. And so whenever someone scores, it really breaks it down into a celebration. You can actually control your player with what celebration they do based on what buttons you press. And the, the camera angle goes uh, into a different way. It like brings those two black bars at the top and the bottom makes it more of a cinematic look which I really definitely like and you get some different camera angles maybe one within inside the goal where you see the goalie try to catch it and they miss you see the angle from maybe behind the glass at a different angle there's just a few different angles of the camera that shows you kind of the replay it's just really awesome how that works now once you score um, obviously you're gonna celebrate and all that stuff and that's pretty cool it kind of shows the bench and then it goes back to the face off now moving forward if you go and someone has the puck and you go to hit them and you make a good hit it kind of takes that same gameplay mechanics and gives you that camera of three or four different shots of you actually hitting that other player now maybe you hit the player and it doesn't send them going that far but it's cool how they showed the different angles and it just looks awesome whenever that's happening now another one is when you see the goal cam uh, i like that one whether it's uh, from behind or uh, behind the glass slightly to the side or from actually behind the goalie within the goal i like both of those angles they're just really cool and make it look awesome and then last but not least i think the most um could be good or bad um angle is the breakaway cam now when you're playing this and you get a breakaway which is a one-on-one -on -one with the player and the goalie the um cinematic look comes back and everything turns blue and I like and I dislike this. I say I dislike this because honestly, it took me forever to score. It took me like six or seven tries of the breakaway before I actually scored. Now, whenever I scored, it was totally awesome and it looks really cool, but it did take me forever. So I was like, oh geez, am I ever gonna score with this breakaway cam? But I finally did and I think that is definitely pretty cool. Now overall, I like this game. It's very arcadey, but it feels real at the same time. Another cool thing about it is when you're playing and you kind of bump someone or piss them off enough that they want to fight with you and it brings you into that sideways kind of side view of the fight. They duke it out and then one player falls over and then they are sent to the penalty box and you see the, the, the benches celebrating or being sad. It's pretty cool actually how they did this and I like it because it's not just the one camera angle 
obviously throughout this video you've noticed I've talked about different camera angles which I think have really made this game a solid piece of work when it comes to a solid NHL game. Now 2002 is 18 years ago and that's surprising that this still holds up. Now when I think of games like this I think of NHL hits or maybe NFL Blitz or something like that when it comes to arcade games but not NHL 2002. Well I need to rethink that because that is exactly what you get here and I think it is absolutely awesome. They take everything that you would expect from the game of hockey. Now some of the rules are definitely more relaxed but I like the way this feels. It is a fun game to play. Now if you've never played it before it may take you a little bit to get used to it but once you actually get into it and you play it, it's just so much fun. And honestly, if you have 10 bucks and an Xbox original, you should definitely pick this up. If you're a hockey fan or you like hockey games when it comes to video games, I definitely think you need to check this out. Was it expensive? No. Is it the best NHL game? No. But honestly, thinking back, this was 2002, not 2015, 14, 17. Not way into the game where they've made these games really awesome and amazing. This was way back then and it is still a totally awesome game. So if you are looking for an awesome NHL game, you should definitely check this out. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this game. Is it interesting? Do you want to see more videos like this? Would you pick this up? All that stuff, comment down below and let me know. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know when I post more videos, which is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And honestly, so much thank you. I really mean it when I say thank you. I am enjoying making videos, and so I love when you guys uh, interact and watch them as well. So I want to say during the recording of this video is during coronavirus. So if you are going out, make sure you practice social distancing, wash your hands, stay six feet away from each other, wear masks when you're out in public, all that stuff so you and your family stay safe. Now, I do not want to get political, and that's not what this is about. I just want you and your family to stay safe and healthy. So with that being said, one more time, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you have a good day.